yo man this industry is getting crazier and crazier every day this california cannabis industry i just got word that one of the largest cannabis distribution companies so a distribution company is a business within the cannabis ecosystem that wholesales product to retailers so think of them like the middleman between the cultivator and the brands and the retailer like the dispensaries and the delivery services who sell to the average everyday customer. I'm getting word from just being in the industry, my team and the connections that I have within the industry that one of the largest distributors, and I guess I'll say the name Herbal Distribution. This is one of the largest distribution companies, if not the largest in the state of California. They, they distribute brands like Glasshouse Farms, which is the largest cannabis cultivator in America, maybe in the world. They have hundreds and hundreds of acres of land where they cultivate cannabis. So they distribute them. They distribute Mr. Zips, which is a really good budget flower brand within the industry, plus gummies. They used to distribute Stone, but I, I believe Stone left them and a host of other large brands that we actually purchased from Herbal for a lot of our products. But what I'm hearing is Herbal Distribution. They are essentially not paying their brands for the products that they're selling. So brands are telling us that they're leaving Herbal Distribution because they're not receiving any payments of products. This is all allegedly. This is just what I'm hearing. I don't know if this is all 100% fact, but as I'm piecing together this story and I learned about the herbal situation, but I didn't want to just come out and put them on blast because I wanted to get the whole picture of the whole situation before I just come out and tell everybody for the reason of why this is happening within the California cannabis industry, but to lay simply out. So herbal distribution, one of the largest, if not the largest distributors in California is not paying the brands that they carry for the products that are being sold. And this is not 100% completely their fault. I'm hearing they're not able to disperse payment because there's a host of large retailers. And these are retailers who have multiple stores within the state of California that are not paying herbal distribution. I can't disclose the names of the retailers for the reason why this is happening. So when we break down the cannabis industry, it's a whole ecosystem. You have your cultivators at the top, which produce the actual cannabis flower. And then these cultivators, they're going to sell their product to other brands. Some of the brands either partner with multiple cultivators or they cultivate their own products. So it's kind of like a 50 50 type thing. Some brands, they just source flower from different farms and different cultivators, or they do all cultivation in house and cultivators. They're partnering with brands or different brands have their own cultivation facilities. Then they use distribution companies, which get their products into retail stores like mine, like delivery services, storefront dispensaries, the distributors, they have all of the vehicles to deliver the products They have the transportation the sales reps, the whole infrastructure needed to get the wholesale products into the stores of the retailers. Imagine this whole ecosystem all working together. Retailers need to work with distributors and distributors need to work with cultivators. So if one of the businesses within that ecosystem is doing something such as not paying for the product, that they're selling, it's going to mess up everything else because you have to remember a lot of business within this industry is done on 30 day terms, 60 day terms. Most of these cultivators and most of the distribution companies, they are basically fronting the product. That's like a street term, but they're giving the product to retailers and expecting payment for that product within 30 days or 60 days. But it's very rare within this industry that people are paying for product all up front, cash on delivery, which is called COD. So it's very rare that we pay for anything all in full up front before we sell anything because as retailers, we have leverage because 
there's so much supply in the market that if somebody is forcing our hand to pay cash on delivery, we'll just be like, oh, we'll just go buy the same product, same quality for somebody else who's going to give us terms. So that's where the market is at in California. I'm not too sure of what it looks like in some of these newer states like New Jersey, New York, because a lot of the cultivators and a lot of the brands, they have the leverage because there's not too much supply. So retailers don't really have that many options when they're sourcing product for their menu. So I, I would doubt that they're working on terms, but as the industry matures and there's more competition on the market, the retailers, which there's less retailers than different brands and distribution companies and cultivators, the retailers have all the leverage such as in California, we have all the leverage. So this all comes full circle because there's a host of these huge retail companies that have multiple dispensaries and it is usually storefronts from the Intel that I'm getting. It's a couple of these storefront conglomerates within the state of California that have multiple storefronts. Like I'm talking about 10, 15 storefront locations spread across California and they're holding them hostage. From what I've heard, $3 million. There's a couple of these large conglomerate storefront dispensaries that owe Herbal up to $3 million in unpaid product. And I know who the people are, but I'm not gonna disclose that because again, this is all allegedly. It would just stir up a lot of controversy because when I found out one of the companies that owes this $3 million debt to Herbal, when I found out who the company was and the founder of that company, and he's a really influential founder, I would say, in cannabis. He's always stirring up a lot of controversy and things of that sort within the industry. I was just surprised. Wait, out of all people, he's the one that his company is the one that owes all this money to Herbal? I'm not going to disclose who the person is. Maybe if, if I get enough likes and comments and things of that sort, I can talk with my team and I may be able to disclose who these companies are that are basically holding Herbal hostage. It's like a domino effect because there's these retailers that owe Herbal $3 million plus in product that they have not paid for. They don't have the money to pay the brands for the product that the brands gave to Herbal to distribute. So now all these brands are upset and they're leaving herbal. Me and my team are getting emailed from brands that we carry stating, hey, we're not dealing with herbal anymore. We're leaving their platform because we have not received payment for over a couple of months. We have not received any type of payment for the product that they purchased from us. We're leaving them and we're going to do our own distribution or we're going with another distribution company. This California cannabis industry it's getting worse and worse by the day. I touched on it a little bit on my last video. I'm getting so much intel, information, and just stuff that only if you're really in the industry, you would know about. Me and my team are just getting so many texts and calls with alleged stories and things of that sort. So just really trying to filter through all the information, trying to figure out what's fact and what's fiction. And I'm comfortable to come out with this story because me and my team have received multiple emails, texts, and calls from brands that we carry stating that they are not dealing with herbal anymore because they have not received any type of payment. But again, this is all alleged. I don't know any more details, but yeah, you're starting to see the fall of an industry. You're starting to see consolidation within the industry. Again, this is why I preach only the most skilled operators and business owners will continue to thrive. The industry is just weeding out all of the weak players. California is foreshadowing what's going to happen in New York, New Jersey, Minnesota, any of these new states, Florida, it's going to be this level of excitement. And then once reality kicks in, once the market starts softening, prices begin to drop, margins become thinner. It's only the strongest will survive. And that's just business. That's just life all this equity stuff, all this, the industry should be fair. Everybody should get a license. Everybody should have a business. It doesn't work like that. I'm sorry to tell you guys, life does not work like that. Nothing in life is fair. So 
it's either you get with it or you get left. It's really tragic out here and a lot of companies are failing in front of our eyes. And me and my company, we are fighting through this. Our strategy is we operate on volume. Our delivery service, we do over 300 orders per day. So we're operating on volume using customer retention strategies. So we're not having to keep acquiring new customers. And we, we try to keep a slim staff and not overspend. So that's some of the things that we're doing to combat just this rough time within this industry in California. Again, Herbal Distribution, the largest distribution company within the state of California is literally collapsing in the front of our eyes. And again, it's just foreshadowing what's going to come within this industry in some of these newer states. If you like this content, please like, share, comment, subscribe if you're new. And until next time, peace, I'm out.